Could passenger blimps be making a comeback? Maybe soon. When fully filled with hydrogen, airships are slow, difficult to land, and extremely flammable. They are now considered more of a historical curiosity than a practical mode of transportation. Hybrid Air Vehicles is a UK-based firm that is developing a modern twist on the airship concept. The goal is to produce cleaner air transport for short-distance routes, while also addressing many of the faults with the airship concept through a complete redesign. Airlander 10 is the name of their vehicle that will perform all of this. But would it be enough to reintroduce airships to the skies? Welcome back to Incredible Tech! Before we begin, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Turn on the bell icon to receive notifications about upcoming videos. The business behind the Airlander airships, Hybrid Air Vehicles (HAV), recently reported that it had obtained its first commercial order, 10 to be delivered to the European-based Air Nostrum Group beginning in 2026. HAV, based in Bedfordshire, developed the 100-seater Airlander 10 from Cardigan Airfield in the UK, with the goal of creating a more environmentally friendly mode of transportation. The company believes it will cut flight emissions by up to 90% in its Spanish region routes as it prepares to launch production of the fleet in South Yorkshire, UK, creating 1,800 jobs. But why has it taken so long for airships to return? A startup founded by Iron Maiden vocalist Bruce Dickinson will soon be navigating Spanish skies with helium-filled passenger airships. According to a company release, Air Nostrum, an Iberia regional partner carrier, has agreed to be the launch airline for hybrid air vehicles Airlander 10 aircraft. The Spanish company has booked 10 100-seat variants of the craft, which will enter service in 2026. The Airlander 10 will significantly reduce emissions, claimed Air Nostrum chairman Carlos Bertomeu. Airships travel substantially slower than planes, reaching speeds of up to 130 km per hour. Airships for commercial aviation may come back after falling out of favor following the Hindenburg tragedy in 1937. As part of the hunt for a cleaner form of long-distance travel than conventional planes, the Airlander 10 is a hybrid aircraft that combines a helium-filled hull of an airship with aviation and helicopter technologies. According to the company, Hybrid Air Vehicles is also working on an all-electric variant that might be in operation by 2030. What exactly is an airship? The phrase airship refers to any motorized lighter-than-air craft, such as blimps and zeppelins. They originally appeared after the introduction of the internal combustion engine. However, a few intrepid aviators attempted to pilot steam-powered airships. The Zeppelin LZ-1 was the first modern airship to take flight in 1900, three years before the Wright brothers' famous flight. Airships were seen as a more appealing form of air transport in the early 20th century due to their lower cost and extended range. They also served as military aircraft and were utilized for bombing missions during World War I. Luxury airships were whisking well-to-do passengers across the Atlantic Ocean by the 1930s, and they were regarded as a technological marvel. They even impacted the urban landscape. It's said that the Empire State Building spire was meant to be turned into an airship port. The difficulties that airships face. But it all came crashing down on May 6, 1937. The hydrogen-filled ship burst into a tremendous blaze while landing in Lakehurst, New Jersey. To this day, the cause of the fire is unknown. The British-built R101, which crashed in France in 1930, was the deadliest airship catastrophe, but it was certainly the most dramatic. Although most of Hindenburg's passengers escaped, airship travel became an instant pariah. Airships appeared to have been phased out anyhow due to advances in aviation technology that allowed for far shorter journey durations. But the Hindenburg accident effectively terminated the era of passenger airships overnight. Airships have been used sparingly since technological developments have allowed aircrafts and helicopters to dominate aviation. Though blimps were important for spying during World War II, airships are now utilized mainly for aerial photography and sporting events and as enormous flying billboards. On the other hand, the expense of fuel may be the most serious issue. Airships require a considerable amount of helium, a rare chemical that can cost up to $100,000 for a single journey. 
Rising helium prices were enough to bankrupt a tourist airship company in Northern California in 2012. Some scientists predict that, unlike many other resources, helium may one day run out, partially because it is light enough to leave the Earth's gravitational well, but largely because harvesting it once it has escaped into the atmosphere is uneconomic. All of this raises the question of whether a mode of transportation reliant on it could ever get off the ground. A hybrid technology Unlike typical airships, the Airlander 10 is not a lighter-than-aircraft. Instead, the vehicle generates only 60 to 80 percent of its lift from the buoyancy of its helium envelope. The rest of the left is formed aerodynamically by air, moving over the airship's elliptical shape. This lift can be supplemented by two diesel-powered duct fans on the airship's sides, which can pivot to help with takeoff and landing. The primary propulsion for the ship is provided by two additional fixed duct fans on the back. The hybrid technique has a number of advantages over the standard airship paradigm. The Airlander 10 is heavier than air, therefore it does not need to vent helium throughout the flight to avoid becoming positively buoyant as fuel burns off, nor does it need to vent helium to land. However, it may remain in the sky for extremely extended periods, since it uses relatively little fuel to stay aloft. According to experts, it can be manned for five days and unmanned for even extended periods of time. Because it relies on helium for lift rather than engine thrusts and wings, it is far more fuel efficient than standard fixed-wing airliners. According to the company's calculations, the Airlander 10 could reduce emissions on short-haul flight routes by up to 90 percent. Because the vehicle's gentle takeoff and landing qualities do not require standard airport facilities, allowing it to operate more easily in isolated regions on grass, sand, or even water. Of course, there are disadvantages in comparison to more traditional air travel. The hybrid airship has a cruise speed of 148 kilometers an hour, significantly less than a typical jet airliner's 900 kilometers an hour. The Airliner 10 is also huge, measuring 91 meters long and 34 meters broad making it the same width as a Boeing 737, but three times the length. Furthermore, while it can land on unprepared flat terrain, hybrid air vehicles recommends a 600-meter diameter circle. According to hybrid air vehicles, the Airlander 10 will be capable of carrying up to 100 passengers on short-distance flights, which is slightly more than half the capacity of a modern single-row airliner. One suggested passenger route is a short trip from Belfast to Liverpool. The former takes an hour on a regular airline and eight to nine hours via ferry. Yet, yeah, the Airlander 10 would finish the flight in about five hours and 20 minutes. So, what are your thoughts on passenger blimps? What hurdles will they face? Tell us in the comments section below.